Hi, I'm Corinne. I'm a senior in high school and I've been volunteering at Teen Line for three years. So being a teenager is really difficult. I mean, no matter like, even though we don't have like the pressures that adult, adults have necessarily, we have all of these other things. We have sort of the pressure to like decide what we want to do with our lives. We have the pressure to do well in school. We feel really ugly and undesirable, comparing ourselves constantly to other people. And it's really hard to go through all of that and not be able to feel like you can talk about it with other people, to feel like you're a burden or you're imposing on somebody when you want to talk about it with your friends, with your family, with other adults in your life. And that can lead to us feeling really lonely and isolated because we feel like no one else is going through the same things that we are going through, even though they are. We just don't feel like we can talk about it with them. Depression can be something that we all think is just a normal part of life, even if we don't know it by that name. We think it's, oh, I'm having a hard time getting out of bed, I'm having a hard time doing my homework, you know, I'm having a hard time taking a shower. We think maybe I'm just going through a funk or maybe I'm just being a teenager. Starting in early middle school, I felt really aimless and I felt like I just really wasn't getting any sort of enjoyment out of life. I didn't find anything that I wanted to do, which was a change for me from when I was a lot younger, when I felt really enthusiastic to do things. I just, I didn't feel any drive to live, really. I, I felt kind of lost. And it was sort of like any small, difficult thing that was introduced to my life just felt like something I could never overcome. I thought this was just a normal part of life. I thought I was just going through it. But there's a name for that, and that was depression. That was a huge relief to me, to be able to put a name to something that I thought was just going to be a normal part of my life. To be able to feel like I had concrete steps or like a concrete thing to tackle was very comforting to me. I would be coming home from school and going straight to sleep. I also, I would wake up and I wouldn't, I wouldn't eat anything until like the afternoon. Then I would eat a ton at night and just go to sleep. And now when I go through like a, de like a depressive episode, and I know I'm supposed to do all of these things to make myself feel better. I'm supposed to see friends. I'm supposed to talk to my family. But, like, but then I didn't know I was supposed to do it. I was just like, oh, I don't want to talk to my friends. and I don't want to talk to my family. All these things started to build up. I was you know, feeling really hopeless, really alone. I thought maybe this is just how life is. But I feel like in the back of my mind, I sort of had this idea like maybe it is something else, maybe it could be depression. My depression isn't what other people's depression looks like. But depression can look like anything. Like, it, it's not a one-size-fits-all thing. I felt it was really important to reach out to my parents. We talked about going to therapy, and that was a huge turning point for me, and I felt like it, it taught me a lot of important things that this is not something that you can really do alone. You really need the support of other people. So a life philosophy, just sort of like a way of thinking that I really picked up in therapy and also just through experiencing all of these things has been that there are always gonna be bad, terrible things about life, but that doesn't do away with all of the amazing things that also exist in life. You know, you can, you can experience sadness and pain and grief, but also love and joy and happiness. In some way, depression is always gonna be a part of me. It's gonna be something that I'll come back to and come away from. I have the tools now that I need to cope with whatever comes my way, to know that I'm gonna get through it. And I think that's important for you all to know too.